So your doctor told you that you're having a miscarriage, and I'm really sorry to hear that. The next question that happens in your mind is, well, what do I do about this? What's the treatment for a miscarriage? And there's several options available for you. One option is to do nothing and just let your body naturally miscarry. Depending on how far along you are when that miscarriage occurs, that may or may not be a safe thing to do. People often ask me, well, when is it going to happen? And that's really the question. It might happen that night or it may take several weeks for the process to happen. Because of that, most people don't feel that comfortable using that option. It's really hard to walk around knowing that you have a miscarriage inside of you and it hasn't passed yet. It's hard to get back to you living your regular life. And so most people choose to have some sort of intervention. And the interventions that are available are a surgery called a DNC or medicine called Cytotec that can be placed in your vagina or given orally to help induce the miscarriage. In my opinion, the Cytotec is not a good way to go. Um, and in fact, I was at a meeting not too long ago where people were talking about this and someone was presenting research on how Cytotec was effective. And the several of us that were, uh, you know, regular OBGYNs seeing patients every day raised their hand and said, well, really, if your wife miscarried, would you use Cytotec? And they said, oh, no, absolutely not. But his situation was they had such a busy clinic, it was in the teaching program, that they didn't have time to do the DNCs, the surgery, and so this was a time saver and allowed them to take care of more patients. But in an ideal situation, even the person that presented the data agreed that a DNC was probably a better way to go. So the problem with side attack is you're given the medicine either vaginally or in your mouth uh, or orally, and then you're sent home where you miscarry at home. And that can be really traumatic for people. It can be very hard for folks. It's a safe way to do it, but emotionally, I think it's a very difficult way to do it. A DNC is typically done in the operating room, although some doctors do it in their office, where some type of anesthesia is given. I personally prefer to use general anesthetic where patients put to sleep completely because that way I know you're not in pain and you know, you're really suffering a lot from your miscarriage. I don't want you to hurt during the DNC. Other doctors feel more comfortable doing this in their office and that's not an inappropriate way to go. But in my practice, I take people to the operating room where they're put under anesthesia. Basically what that means is you close your eyes, you open them, you're in another room, and it's all done. That's why I like this technique. Then we put your legs in stirrups and put a speculum in your vagina, sort of like a pap smear. And then an instrument is placed through your cervix where the pregnancy tissue is removed. You're then allowed to wake up, you watch for a couple hours, and then you get to go home. You probably have some cramping for a while, um, and you will definitely have some bleeding for a while, and that's normal, but it shouldn't be excessive. The DNC is very safe. There are some small risks. Um, uh, of a DNC. The, the worrisome risk is that the uterus could be injured, um, but that's something that we're very careful to try and avoid, and honestly, that's a very rare risk. Uh, otherwise, um, this, honestly, if my wife was having a miscarriage, uh, this is what I would recommend for her as a DNC. Now, after the treatment, the question is, well, when can I go back to work? The honest truth is, from a physical point of view, almost whatever kind of work you do, you could pretty much go back to work immediately. However, most people emotionally really aren't ready to go back to work, and so I usually recommend taking a week or two off, just try and get your head together and try and get back into the game, because it can be very difficult emotionally to have a miscarriage. And so I we usually recommend taking a week or two off. Occasionally you'll have people that get into a depression or they're afraid to go back to work because they don't want to face people who they've already told they're pregnant. If you wait too long to get back to work, it may be very difficult to re-enter into your normal life, and it can really accelerate your depression. And so after a couple weeks, I think it's important to get back to work and at least start trying to live your life because it'll help you get healthy again. Now, the truth is a miscarriage is very painful for people. It's a big loss. Some people don't understand that. Your friends and family may say things to you that seem really hurtful. They really mean well. They just don't understand that what they're saying isn't really what you necessarily want to hear. So try to understand that. Um, eventually, as all losses are, it gets easier as time goes on. Um, there'll always be a little bit of hurt there, but it'll be easier and easier to deal with as time goes on. So just be patient. You will walk through this. The other thing is just because you have a miscarriage doesn't mean that you're more likely to have one in the next pregnancy. In fact, a single miscarriage doesn't increase your risk of miscarriage in the future. It's not really until you have three miscarriages in a row that we really start worrying that there's some increased risk of future miscarriages. So if you have a miscarriage, at least you don't have to worry. It doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to carry a baby in the future. MedTwice.com